Welcome to another episode of Talk and Shop. Last week we had Roman in here. This week we have Leo. Leo has been a great helper today. He came in, actually sat through a meeting, was very good in the meeting. We went and had lunch, and then now we're back before we wrap up the day and recording a new episode of Talk and Shop. So I want to start this episode off just like I did last week with Roman. So Leo, we started Roman off last week with um, what he wanted to be when he grew up. So do you know what he wants to be? Financial advisor, basketball player, soccer player. Right, he said he wanted to be a basketball player first, then soccer, and if he couldn't do any of those, then he'd be a financial, financial advisor, advisor, which is cool. What do you want to be when you grow up? A construction worker and then um, the company. So you want to be a construction worker. How long are you going to be a construction worker? For a few months. For a few months. And then the next, this is the key. What's next after a few months? The, um, owning the company. You want to own the company. That makes me so happy. Now look at me. I didn't tell Roman this, but no matter what you want to be, I'm always going to love you. And I'm always going to support you. So I don't care what it is. And you know what? If you change your mind between now and when you get older, that's cool too. But I love the fact that ultimately you want to own the company. Because owning the company... I think gives you the best possibility to create the life that you want and be in total control. You can have a good life if you aren't the owner, but being the owner gives you flexibility. So, you know, I own my company, mommy owns her company. That allows us the flexibility of bringing you to work. No, nope. we're gonna own. What about my own my own company? You got to get older and you got to work your way up there. No, but remember we're gonna do like that. Oh yeah, tell tell everybody your company you want to start. What are we um, gonna do? Make bags for my mom's store. Yeah, so we're going to make gift bags and carrying bags that Leo's going to design and print up and make. We need to do that. We'll order the bags tonight. And then when they're, when the store is open, I'll tell everybody on Twitter to check it out. So you are. You're going to have a new business before long. But eventually you own the, the construction company. But I'm going to go back to why it's so good to own. The fact that I was able to bring you into the office today and help me out, I get to do that because I'm the boss. No one tells me, no, I can't do that. And when you work for other people... You don't have a boss. Right, right. And, uh, well, I would say my clients are kind of my bosses, but I don't have anybody telling me how to run my business. I get to run my business the way I think is best. And that's pretty pretty powerful and it's pretty nice. And not everybody has that flexibility. And striving to do that I think is a good thing. And on top of that, being our own boss gives us the flexibility to travel. Like we're going to go to Michigan for a little vacation in, in a couple Illinois weeks. In Illinois in two days. Yeah, in Illinois in two and then days. in 18 days we're going to um... Michigan. No. We're going to go see at soccer game. Oh, yeah, that's going to be on the 19th. Go, go up there. No, 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 that's in South Bend. That's up in Notre Dame. Yeah. Go see Liverpool play. Yeah, but, so since I run my company, I can structure my schedule. It doesn't mean I don't work hard and I don't work, but it means sometimes maybe I work in odd times, like late at night or early in the morning, so I can have the daytime to go up to Notre Dame with you and Roman to see Liverpool so play. So you don't need to work like, wow, and sit, so you don't need to like skip your work. So right. You can just... Right. I'm not skipping my work. I'm just doing it at another time. But if you don't own the business, you may not be able to do that. So I like the idea that you're thinking about owning it. And you're how old? Six. Six and, and a half. half, almost seven. I think if you're thinking about wanting to own a business at six and a half and you're already thinking of a business to create, that you are going to be an entrepreneur, which I am very excited to see what you do. I wish I would have thought like that when I was younger. So that's good. So let's let's transition away from your career goals and make sure you look at everybody on the camera so they see how cute you are. What what else did we talk about at lunch today? We talked about saving money, right? Right. Why tell all the little kids out there, why is it important to save money? So if you if you wanna buy something and it costs more like more money than you even have, you can save up your money. That's a good idea. That's and and that's a very good fundamental base to everything. And so save money to be able to buy something more that you want. If it's more expensive, you save to get there so you don't borrow money to buy it. But you can also save for other reasons. You can save to make sure you have money in case an emergency happens. But I think when you're seven years old, almost seven, you're just thinking about buying things. And I think it's smart to not buy something small that you won't really like. Save your money so you can buy something bigger that you really like, right? It makes sense, doesn't it? Like, Roman's trying to buy an iPad. Right. but So he could save up to buy an iPad, or he could buy a bunch of little things and never have enough money for an iPad. Between me and you, he's not buying a new iPad. <laughs> um, so, do you save? Mm, not very much. Not very Sometimes. much? Sometimes. Well, why don't you save very much? Because I... I don't know. Well, you don't really make a lot of money. Um, but when you do get money, like for your birthday or Christmas or special occasions, what have you typically done with that money? 
I've used it. Or you put it in your piggy bank? Or do you have a savings account? Yes. Do you know where it is? No. It's online. Me and Mommy set an online savings up, savings account up for you guys. So some of your Christmas money gets deposited in there. Do you remember why we set that up and why I deposit in there? Do you remember what the bank gives you? No. Interest. Remember we talked about that? So interest is what the bank gives you because they're going to use your money. So you put money into the bank. It's going to sit there. You can get it whenever you need to, but while it sits, the bank is going to take that money to give to somebody else. They're going to do something else with it to try to make money, but they have to pay you to use your money. You're not going to let them use your money for free, are you? No. Exactly. But, but I gave $16 to Ian because he won the contest <laughs> that we were doing. Well, that's, that's a bet, so you have to be careful betting. That was You paid up a bet. That was good. So the reason we use the online bank is they pay you interest, so you're earning... 2.1%. So for every $100 you have in there, you're getting $2. Okay. Pretty cool, right? How much are you getting in your piggy bank? Like, I only have like $51 in my piggy bank. But it's not growing, is it? Because it just sits there, right? Because I'm not getting like any more money. Exactly, not earning interest. So we want to have some money in your piggy bank so you can go to the store today, but then you have some money in a savings account. But we're not going to the store today. Right, we're not going to. But you could if you wanted to. And then you have some money in a savings account that you could use later. You can build up to buy something bigger. And then do you have any investments? Sit up. No. You don't have any stocks? Oh, yes, I do. What do you have in stocks? Disney. Disney? Why did you pick Disney? Because I like it. Because so you like it? We've been there like three or four times. Yep. So you know it and you've been there and you like it. So you kind of have an idea if it's a good company or not. All right, that sounds good. So my final question for you is... If you were going to look in the camera and tell your friends who might watch why they should save money, what would you tell them? Um, look at them, look up, at them, look at them. To save, out, to save up your money. So if you like want to buy a Nerf gun that's like $50 and you don't have $50 or anything, um, you, you can save up your money that you get and you can buy it. And one, one final thing. How can you get more money if you don't have any money? You, you can, um, you can like start to do chores and then you can get like paid. Okay, so you do chores to get paid, or you could start a business like the bag business you're gonna start. Right. All right. Sounds good. Well, I think that was good for your first talking shop. We're gonna do more. Roman promised last week that you and he are gonna start doing more videos like this, but it's gonna be the two of you. I'll video it. And you're going to help little kids, uh, other kids learn about money. So we're going to do more videos. And if you guys do 10 videos, I'll set up your YouTube channel. Yay. So is there anything else you want to tell everybody before we get done? No. All right. Well, then I will close it out then, everybody. Well, first off, Leo, thank you for joining me. And everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Good job. Bye.